Are you an honest person? Hello beautiful souls, I am Dr. Meghna Dikshit, author of the book You Matter and I am thrilled to welcome you to our channel. Here we explore the fascinating realms of the mind and brain, share the secrets to success, help you heal your past and prepare for a brilliant future. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And to all our returning viewers, heartfelt welcome. If you are ready to dive in into the incredible world of your brain and mind's potential, type ready in the chat box right now. Now, the burning question. Are you an honest person? Now listen to this video and you will be surprised. See, we are programmed to avoid pain. We go to great lengths to stay safe and to avoid negative consequences. This aversion to negative consequences extends to our relationship with honesty. Our society does not really propagate honesty. It is required on our part to be willing and to be brave to be honest, even though there may be consequences to that. This is not about the right and wrong or about honesty and dishonesty. Sometimes we may actually believe that it is more moral to be dishonest. Let us see how this happens. All of us are going to find ourselves in a situation sooner or later where we are going to be dishonest and not tell the truth. There are many of us who will not be honest if there is even one negative consequence to it. We will say and do things to avoid any and all negative consequences in order to get what we want for ourselves. It may also be reactions that we want or don't want from others. So let me ask this question again. Are you really honest? The truth is, you would make other people responsible first to make it safe for you to be honest. Have you done this for yourself? Do you know someone like this? Let me know in the chat box. There are huge problems that come from this. Problems that lead to other people's pain and that lead to the dissolution of life as you know it. In order to have a life that is worthwhile, it is essential to be honest with yourself. You have to change your relationship to the consequences of owning your truth. The first problem here is that this very doing defies the universal law. The laws of mirroring and cause of effect say that there is nothing that does not have a reflection or that does not have an effect. Literally everything has a reflection and a consequence. This includes honesty. There are places where you are truthful and there are places where you cannot be because of the consequences. For example, you may tell your closest friend that you are having an affair with someone, but you would not share this fact with your spouse. The expectation of there being no negative consequences at all is irrational. Putting the onus on the other person to not react negatively to your sharing is cruel. Can I give you a truth bomb here? If you want a truth bomb, type TB in the chat box. Truth bomb in the chat box. Everything that you say or do, even think, has a consequence. Everything that you don't think, say or do also has a consequence. If we insist that we are only going to be honest if there are no consequences to our honesty, we are aware of the consequences of being honest. But we are ignorant of the consequences of not being honest. There will always be consequences of both action and inaction. Do you get what I'm saying? Type IGI, I get it. For example, if you have a certain health condition, it may come in the way of you getting into a serious relationship. That would be a consequence of you sharing your truth. But there would also be the consequences to you not sharing your health details in a relationship. So many people have this conditional relationship with honesty because they want to be safe first. They may say things like, I'm just being honest. This is said to ensure that there is no negative reaction because honesty is a good value and there should be no negative consequence to being honest. They think that the fact that they are being honest should be enough and a negative reaction would not be proper. Like honesty should have an exemption from negative consequences. Think about this. Would you grant someone else the same courtesy of not reacting if they share an unpleasant truth that affects you? Could you guarantee that you would have no negative reaction? 
no right it is not the responsibility of other person to curb their reaction to the unpleasantness to our admission of honest confession even an honest confession will have its consequences for example if you have an employee who is stealing away your clients to start their own venture when you confront the employee could you promise that there would be no consequences for the person if they were to admit to their wrong doing you would definitely not be okay with what they have done and you would ask them to leave you would fire them there's no safety here for that person to be honest you will be trapped and disempowered if you will only be honest if other people ensure that there will be no consequences if you are not ready to take that responsibility for the consequences of your honesty for you to get out of that trap and for you to be at the cause rather than an effect of your life you have to get serious about the consequences of being honest and also of not being honest you are going to have to play out the consequences as they come along and over time rather than expecting no consequences you can consciously choose your consequences one of the things that happen when we are honest only when there is a guarantee of no consequences is that we choose a life of separation of aloneness you are also choosing relationships that are not real a relationship is only real when you are fully aware of the reality of someone if you have not put forth your honest self from the beginning then it won't be a real relationship anyway you can only have a real relationship with someone if you present the real you from the very beginning otherwise you're setting up an illusion you're setting up relationship that is not real this ensures that there is always a distance between you and the other person as a result both of you are actually alone it stops you from getting the real version of the other person too as you will get a reflection of what you are and that is dissatisfaction guaranteed over a longer period of time real intimacy is only possible if you see hear feel and know someone if you agree type agree in the chat box i've seen cases where honesty has led to distancing between people as a consequence well vibrationally those two people are closer to each other now than they were before the honesty was spoken another consequence of making your honesty dependent upon other people's reactions is a pain of codependency codependency is a relationship strategy that is learned in dysfunctional family this will lead you to relationship dysfunction as well you'll conform to whatever other people want and give up your identity in exchange for approval because that makes you feel safer your entire life will be compromised you will continue with your story of being helpless and identityless in your life another consequence of conditional honesty is that you will never be able to build trust in a relationship the very fact that you are dishonest with yourself makes you distrust or mistrust the other person so all your relationships will be insecure and unsafe another consequence would be that your relationships will be exhausting unfulfilling and it will keep you constantly on guard watching your words and actions it's like playing chess 24 hours that is exhausting and you will be riddled with anxiety to keep them which you will not be able to do so you will need to withdraw from your relationships to feel the respite from constantly being on guard in authenticity takes a lot of time and energy the truth inevitably comes out when that happens there certainly will be consequences you would lose credibility and respect being on constant guard makes your relationships painful depleting exhausting and very very difficult think about it Another consequence of conditional honesty is that you will lose touch with your personal truth. When you're speaking and acting constantly in a way that is opposite to your real self, eventually you are going to distance yourself from your authentic self and you really won't know who you are. You become susceptible to going along with other people rather than take responsibility for any decisions. 
you also become susceptible to manipulation. Personal happiness goes out of your reach and you lose the direction in life as you are not sure what is true for you anymore. So how can you make the right decisions in life or find your purpose? If you have a conditional relationship with your truth, you will end up losing yourself. Is the gain worth it? Not at all, right? Another consequence of this is you will never find anything that you are actually compatible with in your life. You would sentence yourself to a life of incompatibility. You would minimize the importance of compatibility but it would bring constant conflict with others, constant pain and sacrifices, also constant shame. Your vibration is felt and imbibed by people around you. If you speak and act in a way that normalizes dishonesty and inauthenticity, you help to establish this as a norm for your relationship, your environment and society at large. You will be tempted to rationalize, justify and come up with excuses for your conditional honesty. You will always be able to find an excuse, justify and rationalize anything. Not being honest has its benefits, otherwise people wouldn't do it. Truth has consequences, otherwise people wouldn't lie. If you want well-being in your life, you want real relationships, you need to consciously choose your consequences rather than expecting other people to disregard those consequences. What do you think? What are your insights with this conversation? Share them with me in the chat box. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with someone. If you want more insights from me, there are two links posted in the comment section. The first one is of my masterclass, which is three hours and which comes to you completely complimentary. You will understand much more deeper insights about your brain patterns and how your mind functions. And the second link is of my book, You Matter. When you click on the link, you'll go on Amazon and you'll be able to get that book immediately. And you can start your journey today. I'll see you soon.